Andy Crosby, the assistant manager to Daryl Clark, who's had such an awful time of late, had to take compassionate leave. And Andy Crosby stepped up, and it's a lovely gesture by Daryl Clark to enable Andy Crosby to lead the sides out for what is such a huge, huge occasion. A massive prize for two proud clubs who each feels they've been stuck in the lower reaches for far too long. A chance for welcome glory after too many dark days. Will this be magical for Mansfield or brilliant for Vale? Mansfield Town looking to reach the third tier of English football for the first time in love. 19 years, there's a chance there, what on earth was the Port Vale defence doing? Statues back there, and a magnificent opportunity for Mansfield to take an early lead here, disappears. Statuesque as it's tossed in, and Murphy just gambled either side of Stone, and it was 1-0 Mansfield down. And really, he should be doing better there, Murphy. Mansfield from Burton, back in October. And that's his miscontrol. Benning getting forward again, Wilson waits in the middle. It's cut back instead for Garrity. He tries to tip, out. and it's against the post. Benning delivers the cross. Garrity couldn't get to it. And eventually it's hooked away by O'Toole. Well, that's the closest Port Vale have come, and it's the teenager, Kian Harrop, who strikes the post. That would have been some finish from that kind of distance. Went for placement. Bishop at full stretch. Gibbons under pressure. And it's away by Worrell. This is Wilson. Benning again, galloping forward down the far side. It's for his finding space. Garrett in. Waits in the middle, and he's hit by Harrod. Denied by the post a minute ago. The 19-year-old stoops to conquer here. And Vail strike first. Terrific noise from the west end of the ground. Kian Harrod, who scored twice as a sub when the sides met at Vale Park back in March, as Port Vale won that one 3-1. Put to one side the disappointments of his earlier effort hitting the post and steers that in from Benning's measured delivery. Benning really enjoying himself down that left-hand side. It's a lovely ball in. And it's a calm finish from the 19-year-old. First blood, Port Vale. Little flick off the defender that took it beyond Perch and into the path of Harrit. And subdued celebrations in the technical area from Messrs Clark. And this is Quinn. They'll have it back though with Harrod. And Taylor invites Wall to get forward. And now it's the uh, right midfielder that's looking to cause further problems for Mansfield. And the header is against the bar and in! Wilson with the rebound! It's 2 0 Port Bell! What a four minute spell this is! James Wilson with his fourth in his last four games, but again, the key to this is the Port Vale width. First goal came down the left, this time it's down the right. Look at the time that David Wall has got. Plenty of white-shirted bodies in the mix there. The initial header comes back off the bar, and Wilson responds. Couldn't miss from there.
Hewitt to some towards the edge of the six-yard box. A bit deeper with the follow-up. Away by Worrell. Blockham. Now Oates. It's a very late play. Is that Holly Hawkins that was uh, carded? Looks for that on uh, Nathan Smith in the middle. So, not a flag for offside, but a, a flag for that foul by Holly Hawkins. Can Mansfield find something of their own? And we'll draw it well. Increase that advantage. That's on Tony again from Hawkins. He's been booked already, and he's all for it's getting horribly bad now for Mansfield. Two down and down to ten men. And Hawkins is sent off. Two yellow cards in the space of 35 minutes. And it's so unnecessary. Inside Port Vale's half. Late on Wilson. Just needed to jockey, and he feared the worst as soon as the whistle was blown. <laughs> Quinn, and Rockland appeared to be pushed by Pet. Rockland over the set piece. Hawkins doing for now, of course. And it's made a mess up by the goalkeeper. Was that in? Had that crossed the line? Well, we do have goal line technology at Wembley today, so we will be checking that. In fact, the referee will have checked already on his watch. The ball would not have crossed the line, otherwise his watch would have buzzed and he would have been aware of that. Mansfield so, so close to getting a goal back. A close shave there. Goal decision system was required. Oof, that is desperately close. Connor Hall, the hero, look how close that is to seeing Mansfield Town through Reese Oates get on the score sheet. It's a horrible moment for their former goalkeeper, Aidan Stone. And Connor Hall is his hero, and it is just not Nigel Clough's day. The top seven. They need. Uh, a similarly remarkable recovery within 45 minutes of today, and Perch is late with that challenge. And here's another recipient of the yellow card. It's going to be Wilson. Oh, from the other end of the ground, that looked as though it was curling in. How close was this? Very. Not sure that Bishop would have got to it. She's a
Liverpool goal just won't come at the moment for Darren Clark and Port Vale. First Harrop, and now Charlesley caught offside. Yeah, he's well offside, isn't it? Just too eager, really, to score against his old club. Again, here's Lapsley. Now Oates with a shot. That's a fine save from Aiden Stone. I think it took a big flick off the defender as it headed his way. This is more like it from Mansfield. It's a nice move. Yeah, definite touch off the defender. I don't think it changed the trajectory of the shot too much, but it needed saving. Charlesley. Warrell. To keep it in, he's managed to find a cross. It's the fourth goal, and it's Benning. What a splendid finish for Mal Benning. He was about to be withdrawn, you know. His number was being prepared on the board, but he's settled the game. He's clinched promotion for Port Vale with the third goal and a memorable afternoon at Wembley against his former club. That's the owner, Carol Shanahan. What a terrific job she's done since buying the club some three years ago and now she can smile because Port Vale have done it and full marks here for David Worrell for keeping this ball in and finding a cross and look at that run from Benning since there was an opportunity and at full stretch is able to uh, provide the power to force it beyond Nathan Bishop to settle the game Never took his eye off the ball. Port Vale have risen to the occasion. And they took this game by the scruff of the neck midway through that first half. And Darrell Clark embraces his opposite number, his friend Nigel Clough, to celebrate a magnificent achievement by him, his coaching team, his players, and his club. Port Vale are promoted to League One via the playoffs. Kian Harrod set the ball rolling with that header on 20 minutes. Less than four minutes later, they doubled their lead with a close range finish from that man, James Wilson. He's here for the duration. It's a real family feel to this club. This is what today has been all about, lifting that trophy and securing promotion to League One. Port Vale are the club that have achieved that goal. Port Vale, under their talented young manager, Darrell Clark.